Inner Asia refers to regions within East Asia and North Asia that are today part of Western China, Mongolia and Eastern Russia. It overlaps with some definitions of Central Asia, mostly the historical ones, but certain regions of Inner Asia such as Northeast China are not considered a part of Central Asia by any of its definitions. Inner Asia may be considered as the frontier of China, and is bounded by East Asia, which consists of China, Japan, and Korea. The extent of Inner Asia was seen differently in different periods. Inner Asia is sometimes contrasted to China proper, that is, the original provinces, those with majority Han Chinese populations. In 1800 it consisted of four main areas, namely Manchuria modern northeast China and outer Manchuria, Mongolia inner and outer, Xinjiang and Tibet. These areas had been recently conquered by the Qing dynasty but were governed through different administrative structure not as regular provinces during most of the Qing period. The Qing government agency known as the Lifan Yuan was established to supervise the empire's inner Asian regions. Definition and usage Topic. Inner Asia has a range of definitions and usages. One such is how Dennis Siner used Inner Asia in contrast to agricultural civilizations, noting its changing borders, such as when a Roman province was taken by the Huns, areas of North China was occupied by the Mongols, or when Anatolia came under Turkish influence, eradicating Hellenistic culture. Another is how scholars or historians of the Qing dynasty such as those of the New Qing history often use the term, Inner Asia, when studying Qing interests or reigns outside China proper. Topic. Different languages Topic. In French, AC Centrale can mean both Central Asia and Inner Asia. Mongolia and Tibet by themselves are termed Haute AC, High Asia, or Upper Asia. The terms meaning Inner Asia in the languages of Inner Asian peoples are all modern loan translations of European, mostly Russian, terms. Topic. Related terms Topic. Topic. Central Asia Topic. Central Asia normally denotes the western, Islamic part of Inner Asia, that is, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan, with Afghanistan sometimes also included as part of Central Asia. However, the Library of Congress subject classification system treats Central Asia and Inner Asia as synonymous. Topic: <inaudible> Central Eurasia. Topic: According to Morris Rossabi, the term Inner Asia is the well-established term for the area in the literature. However, because of its deficiencies including the implication of an Outer Asia, that does not exist, Dennis Siner has proposed the neologism, Central Eurasia, which emphasizes the role of the area in intercontinental exchange. According to Siner, the definition that can be given of Central Eurasia in space is negative. It is that part of the continent of Eurasia that lies beyond the borders of the great sedentary civilizations. Although the area of Central Eurasia is subject to fluctuations, the general trend is that of diminution. With the territorial growth of the sedentary civilizations, their borderline extends and offers a larger surface on which new layers of barbarians will be deposited. See also China proper Chinese Tartary Western regions Tang dynasty in Inner Asia Yuan dynasty in Inner Asia Qing Dynasty in Inner Asia Nomadic Empire Eurasianism Silk Road Turco-Mongols Tyrannism Tartary Division of the Mongol Empire Topic. References Topic. Topic. Citations Topic. Topic. Sources. 
Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. The Association for Asian Studies (AAS), the China and Inner Asia Council (CIAC). Indiana University at Bloomington, Research Institute for Inner Asian Studies RIFIAS. University of Cambridge, Mongolia and Inner Asia Studies Unit MIASU.